Hello, this is Mark Sabatella from Outside Shore Music. In this video, I want to go over the, the ranges of the instruments that are commonly found in an orchestra. There's a lot of resources out there with this information, but I've decided to kind of collect them into one handy reference, uh, which I am attaching here, but uh, I'm just going to show you uh, what's going on in this, uh, in this reference. So I'm listing all the different instruments in kind of a typical score order, and I'm doing it in concert pitch mode. That's because when we are writing music, we're typically thinking in concert pitch, and that's how I want to present this. Most of the charts you see are for the transposed range. If you prefer to see the transposed range, you can just turn off concert pitch in this score, and now the notes will be transposed as appropriate. So uh, I'm going to leave concert pitch on though for this and uh, I'm just going to kind of run through what the instruments are here. So for flute, uh, what we have is that the lowest note that's reasonable to write for flute is middle C uh, and uh, a, uh, it's not necessarily the lowest note. Some flutes, many flutes can play a B below that, but it's probably best to stay middle C and above. The high note that you can write for a flute comfortably. People will uh, maybe disagree over exactly what, you know, some will say the A, some will say B, C, or G, or whatever, but uh, I'm, I'm trying to pick something that I feel is what I feel is a reasonable upper limit unless you know for sure that your players are not going to be able to make it or can go higher. This is just a good general call. So that's the range of the flute from this C to that A, and that makes it a very good choice for soprano parts. Oboe has uh, just a smaller range, really, from this C to maybe about that D. Some people will say not even that, maybe the C up here. There are a couple notes lower than the C that an oboe might be able to play, but they generally you, you generally avoid them. Uh, so uh, that's also a good soprano instrument. Now, uh, clarinets typically uh, are in B flat. There's also A clarinets, but I'm, I'm showing this for B flat clarinet. A B flat clarinet sounds a step lower than written. The lowest note written for clarinet is the E below middle C, but it's going to sound like D. So D is the low note that you would write. write. The highest note you might write for clarinet is the G, uh, you know, uh, several ledger lines above the staff and again because it's a transposing instrument it's going to sound like F and so that's the range that I'm recommending there. It's capable of going higher but you probably don't want to write for it that way very often. For bassoon uh, the range that I'm giving here is this low B flat to this B flat here uh, uh, above the bass clef staff. And a bassoon can possibly go higher, in, especially in solo literature, but that's a good reasonable range to stay within. So uh, clarinets have a, a very large range, one of the largest ranges in the orchestra from there to here, and therefore it can do soprano parts or alto parts or even tenor parts if, if they go, you know, uh, if they don't go too low. So bassoons certainly can play bass parts going down to that B flat, but they can also play tenor parts uh, because that B flat is, you know, tenors don't typically go higher than that in, uh, in SATB type of writing. So now in the brass section, uh, horns can start, uh, they, they can get pretty low down to this G, meaning in a pinch, maybe even a bass part, but realistically we don't typically use horns for bass. Uh, but from this G, up to about that C in uh, concert pitch. So that makes really good uh, tenor range, and it also makes pretty good alto range. Uh, for trumpets, they are also transposing instruments typically, uh, so I have this written for B flat trumpet. A B flat trumpet, any trumpet, the lowest written note will be the F sharp below middle C. A B flat trumpet will therefore sound like the E below middle C. And the high note for trumpet that you would write in an orchestral context is the C above the staff, uh, which will sound like B flat. And yes, jazz players go an octave or more higher than that sometimes, but you don't write that for orchestra. So this is a good range, I would say, 
a, a written, I mean, a, a sounding range, the sounding pitch range for trumpet. And therefore, it can handle both uh, soprano and alto parts. Uh, trombone is essentially the same thing, but down an octave from this E to this B flat. And that makes it a good choice for either bass parts or tenor parts. There are also bass trombones, trombones with triggers that can get lower. Um, so, you know, if you know what type of trombone you're writing for specifically, you might be able to write lower than that. For tuba, there's also lots of different models of tuba. So um, what I'm giving here is just sort of a rough average of what they can do. But uh, this very low F up to somewhere pretty close to middle C is uh, doable for a tuba. So that's the range there. Clearly, that is then a bass range instrument. So now flipping over to uh, some percussion and harp, uh, timpani, you know, there's multiple timpani in an orchestra and they can be each tuned and different orchestras might have different models available. So you don't know for sure which models will in any particular orchestra will be using, but a reasonably safe range to write is the lowest timpani's lowest note will be D and the highest timpani's highest note will be this A. There are smaller timpanies that can go higher, but that is a pretty good range there. So they are typically used to emphasize bass notes. You don't write an entire bass part for timpani because it doesn't play melodies typically, uh, but just to emphasize roots occasionally, they're very useful. A xylophone will go from this F above middle C to this C quite a bit higher. And therefore it is useful for soprano melodies if they don't go too low because that's really high. So typically a xylophone would be used for doubling a soprano part an octave higher. Uh, harp uh, has a huge range, almost as big as the piano, from this C way down here to uh, this G, I guess, way up there. And uh, all of those notes are usable on a harp. Um, and depending on the setting of the, the pedals, it can go a half step higher, half step lower than that range, but that is the range of a harp. Huge range can do the entire SATB uh, spectrum. So finally, we have the strings. Violins, their lowest string is a G, and therefore that's the lowest note they can play. Now, the violin is tuned like this, the open strings, G, D, A, and E. E isn't the highest note you can play. You can, you know, by going up the string, up the, up the uh, fingerboard, you can get about an octave higher easily. And I'm giving you another third on top of that and saying, you know, you can pretty safely write up to this G. So from this G here to that G there is safe to write for violin. Solo parts will go higher still, but in an orchestral uh, section setting, that's a reasonable range. Some people might say I'm being generous and that I, I should restrict it a little bit. It's um, these these things are not set in stone. Uh, for viola, the um, string open strings are here, C, G, D, and A. So this low C is the low note, and you can certainly go an octave higher than that A. And I'll give you another third, so we can go from C to C. So the violin part uh, going from this G to this G is great for soprano and it can do alto as long as your alto doesn't go below that G. That's maybe a little uh, limiting, but that's just how it is. Viola having this range is capable of doing soprano parts, but easily can do alto parts and can do tenor parts if your tenor doesn't go below that C, which, you know, in an, in an SATB setting, it's unlikely your tenor part will. Solo literature, sure, but uh, in a, in a kind of SATB type of uh, arrangement, uh, we're not typically going to see the tenor below that C. The cello is the exact same as the viola down an octave. And so its range is the same as the as the uh, violas down an octave. So this makes it uh, an excellent choice for either tenor or bass parts. More typically, it's used for bass. The contrabass is tuned in fourths, unlike the others that are tuned in fifths. That low E is its low note. This G here is the high string. You can go up an octave from there and again I'm giving you another third on top of that so this is your range this low E to this B and uh, makes it a great choice for bass parts obviously
So those are the uh, ranges of the instruments in an orchestra. And again, we can quibble about exactly where the bottom, exactly where the top is, whether you can get away with writing any higher, uh, whether at the high end or get away with writing lower at the low end for some of these instruments. Um, but these are, are pretty good ranges to try to stick within when you're writing orchestral music.